Hi. Let's talk a moment about what happens when we bring a certain quality of energy into the very thing that we're trying to do. And that thing that you're trying to do can be creating a yoga class, going to work, approaching a date or a relationship, or even going to the supermarket and mass buying. Remember for a moment that whatever energy we bring in behind the very thing that we're doing or trying to do influences the outcome of the very thing that we're trying to achieve. We all know that by bringing in a weird vibe, like a negative vibe, or allowing a negative vibe behind the very thing that we're trying to do, totally influences the outcome of the very thing that we're trying to achieve in our lives at that moment. So for example, if you are doing things out of fear, then the very thing that you're trying to do will be affected or influenced by the vibes of fear that you have, you still have within you. When teaching yoga, if there is an element of fear behind what you do, that is going to impact on the way that you deliver and the very outcome that you desire. If you're going to the supermarket to buy out of absolute fear, that is also going to affect your health in other ways. My request is that whatever elevated emotional state you are focusing on right now, bring in the quality of that behind the very thing that you do. That way it helps us to stay very focused on what we are doing as how we as individuals are approaching all of the stuff that's going on in the world right now. For example, if you're going to the supermarket to mass buy, then go with the approach of doing this to take care of yourself instead of the fear of something else that's happening. Apply this to everything else that you do and what will happen is that you will feel that sense into that you are living a life where every single one of your thoughts, words and actions are in alignment with the elevated emotional state you choose to experience in your life. And before I end, I would like to say, for the last number of months, I've been focusing on daily cultivating appreciation. Because I feel that if I appreciate my physical body, what I have, then I'm actually able to cultivate the feeling of having health. It's important to know appreciation if you want to have good health.